Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. It's time for another top 10 PSA vintage baseball card sales on eBay. This time I'm taking a look at April 2023. As always, I break down the top 10 lists to those from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. This month for the 1950s, there's a pretty good group of cards that made the list. And for the first time in quite some time, there are no 1952 Topps Mickey Mantles that make the top 10 list. For the 1960s, there's also a pretty good group of cards, as well as an interesting flip that did pretty well for a seller. For the 1970s, if you like 1975 and 1976 cards, this is the top 10 list for you. There are a lot of low population cards that sold, a lot of them to buyers most likely looking to move up the ladder on the PSA registry lists. So let's go take a look at the top 10 PSA vintage baseball card sales on eBay for April 2023. All right, let's start with the top 10 from the 1950s. Coming in at number 10, we have this 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle in a PSA 2, sold on April 11th for $14,000. This was a best offer. The VCP average price is $11,973. I can see why this sold for a premium uh, for a PSA 2. Uh, this looks like it is a newer slab, uh, so that may give some um, credence to the grade being a, a tough grade. Very well centered. Obviously, the corners are worn. It does not appear that there are any major creases. To me, this is a, a perfect really low grade example of a vintage card you have issues on the corners but great color great registry really good centering uh, but a technical low grade um, so to me that is one great example there of the 1951 bowman mickey mantle rookie card coming in at number nine we have the 1951 bowman willie mays rookie card this time in a PSA 4.5. This one sold on April 30th for $14,700. It was an auction, 59 bids. The VCP average price is $13,131. Now, obviously, this is way off center, uh, top to bottom, left to right, uh, but the image itself uh, is really clean the colors are nice and bright for this willie mays but this is an example here of vintage cards not always having the same eye appeal for a grade because coming in at number eight is another 1951 bowman willie mays rookie card but this time in a PSA 4, so half a grade lower, but this one sold for $15,000. It was an auction, one bid. The VCP average price is $11,872. Now to me, this PSA 4 presents overall a lot better than this previous 4.5 that sold for about three yet yeah, the sold for three hundred dollars less so this one got a technical grade half a point higher because maybe the corners were better maybe a little bit better on the surface you can see there's some issues around uh the bat there maybe uh something there around his jersey but to me this has better this four has a better eye appeal overall because of the centering i would much rather have this psa 4 than that psa 4.5 we'd love to know in the comments uh, which one of these two examples the 4.5 or the 4 given there's only $300 difference between the two. So two very interesting 51 Bowman Willie Mays cards that show up on this month's top 10 list. Just goes to show that with vintage cards, um, I appeal could be dramatically different and the grades could be very similar. All right, coming in at number seven, 
We have the 1955 Bowman Mickey Mantle in a PSA 8. Great looking card. Uh, this one sold on April 8th for $15,129. It was an auction, 25 bids. BCP average price though, $16,444. So sold a little bit less than the BCP average price. Maybe the fact that it is an older slab may have had something to do with it. Not sure about that. Either that or, again, nationals coming up, things like that. Uh, maybe this one uh, just didn't garner up to the uh, VCP average. There is, looking down here at the color TV area, uh, maybe a little bit off registry uh, with the coloring there, although mantle himself overall uh, looks uh, pretty good there so again not sure why this one did not sell uh, closer to the vcp average because in my opinion it is a great example of the 55 bowman mickey mantle coming in at number six we have the 1954 tops hank aaron rookie card in a psa 7 this one sold on april 13th for fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty four dollars it was an auction, 29 bids, and literally sold for right at the VCP average price of $15,259. Great example of the Hank Aaron rookie card. Coming at number five, a surprise card to hit the top 10 list. We have the 1953 Bowman Color Dale Mitchell. Now, this copy happens to be in a PSA 9, looks to be in a newer slab, sold on April 26th for $16,500. It was a buy it now. The VCP average price, $11,209. The last previous sale of this card, it was actually the same card, was $5,918.40 through memory lane back in January. No other previous sales were reported for this card because in APSA 9, there are only two. So this one was recently graded, sold through memory lane, and then sold for a large profit on April 26th for $16,500. All right, on to number four. We have the 1956 Tops Mickey Mantle Grayback in a PSA 8. Great looking card of that 56 Tops Mickey Mantle. This one sold on April 30th for $16,601. It was an auction, 59 bids, a little bit higher than the VCP average price. And I can see why. Newer slab, great eye appeal. Um, compared to maybe some other PSA 8s that just didn't quite have the same eye appeal. I uh, can definitely see that this one received a premium for that eye appeal. All right, on to number three. We have the 1953 Tops Jackie Robinson in a PSA 8. Now, don't let the your eyes aren't deceiving you here with the color here. This was the uh, most likely... Uh, how the seller took the picture. There was some glare, so it looks like there's some color differences in the card. It, it was just overall, the images used in this listing were not the best. Uh, this is a somewhat older slab, but overall, uh, great color. You don't see any uh, missing black down here at the bottom. This one sold on April 27th for $27,631.82. It was an auction, 54 bids, but was well below the VCP average price of $34,500. So not sure if it was the quality of the images. Uh, maybe this 53 tops Jackie Robinson in, in the high grades are seeing a bit of a softening. Uh, but close to $7,000 off the VCP average price for this copy in a PSA 8. All right, on to card number two. We have the 50, 55 Tops Sandy Koufax Rookie Card. Now, this is a older slab, but great-looking example of the Sandy Koufax Rookie Card. 
And as you can see down at the bottom here, they put that uh, PWCC A grade for I appeal. So uh, really nice that a uh, third party graded the grade uh, on this. Um, don't get me started on that. But overall, great looking Sandy Koufax card. Sold on April 8th for $30,000. It was an auction, 21 bids. I can see because of the great eye appeal of this card that it sold for higher than the VCP average price of $26,975. All right, on to the number one sale on eBay from the 1950s. The 52 tops Willie Mays in a PSA 8 Great looking example of this Willie Mays sold on April 2nd for a whopping $175,100. Now, this is an older slab, but again, just looking at it here, um, I can see that it got an eight centering is pretty good for a 52 tops it may not be perfect although this is a psa 8 just great color uh, on that willie mays card now the vcp average price for a psa 8 is actually 188,656 dollars so this card has uh, gone down somewhat in price in fact the highest price uh, through uh, the vcp database was $258,000 for a PSA 8 back in December of 2021 through REA auction. So this card has actually gone down in about uh, a year and a half or so from $258,000 all the way down to $175,000, but still great copy of that 52 tops Willie Mays. All right, on to the cards from the 1960s. Coming in at number 10, we have the 62 tops Mickey Mantle in a PSA 8. Now this one sold on April 2nd for $10,203. It was an auction, 48 bids. The VCP average price, $14,212. So compared to the average for this PSA 8, this buyer did very well in that auction, picking it up for only $10,200. So keep this card in mind. All right, number nine. We have another 62 tops. This one, the Willie Mays in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 2nd for $11,211. 38 bids on this auction. This one sold for a premium over the VCP average price of $10,668. Nice example of that 62 tops, Willie Mays. In at number eight, we have the 69 tops, Nolan Ryan in a PSA nine. Sold on April 13th for $11,250. It was a best offer. And it sold for $1,500, I think, over VCP average price of $9,750. Now, in a PSA 9, there are 123 copies. There are only two graded PSA 10. On to number 7. Not a very good set of images by this seller. Um, not sure what was going on, why they kept the card in that plastic uh, protector case there. Um, I don't know. I don't think they did themselves any service because this one sold on April 2nd for $11,975 in an auction, 21 bids. The VCP average price is $15,109. So about $3,000 less than the average. Not sure if it had to do with the quality of the images. Um, PSA 9, I mean, it, it, it looks like a sharp looking William Mays card. Any PSA 9, there are only 38 copies. There's only one PSA 10. Interesting sale there for the Willie Mays. On to number six. We have the 69 Tops Reggie Jackson Rookie Card in a PSA 8.5. Sold on April 20th for 
This was a best offer. Sold for a little bit higher, about $1,000 over the VCP average price of $11,033. Really nice looking example of his rookie card. Um, nice bright colors, good registration, very good centering. Uh, deserving of, in my opinion, of the, the 8.5. In at number five, an interesting card here that made the top 10 list. We have the 1960 Tops World Series Game 4 Hodges winning Homer. So we have Gil Hodges, um, Hall of Famer, on this card, PSA 9. It is an older slab. Now this one sold on April 30th for $12,300. It was an auction, 72 bids. The VCP average price right now is $12,300 because the last nine sold for only $738.99 less than three years ago in December of 2020. In a PSA 9, there are only nine copies. There are no PSA 10s. But the reason I say this is interesting, this is an older slab. And if you notice the back here, I've looked at a couple of the other cards that sold through VCP's database. And on the left part of this card, it looks like part of another card. This border here does not show up on other examples. So to me, maybe the grader missed it or whatever, I'm not sure. But to me, this should qualify for a miscut or something because it should not have that part of another card on the back and still qualify for a PSA 9. So not sure there, would love your thoughts. Um, it, would do you think this would today still qualify for a PSA 9? Overall, the card looks great. But on the back, to me, it appears that it is miscut showing another part of, or a part of another card. All right, on to number four. We have another 69 Tops Reggie Jackson rookie card, again in an in a 8.5. Now, this one sold for $12,500 best offer on April 3rd. So compare this one to uh, that one there, sold for $500 difference, um, you know, twice in, uh, in April there. This isn't a flip. These are two different cards. Um, to me, they look pretty much the same. Um, so it's interesting that two... PSA 8.5 Reggie Jackson rookie cards made uh, were sold in April, and both of them were within were $500 difference. All right, coming in at number three, I told you to keep an eye out on that 62 tops Mickey Mantle that came in at number ten. Same serial number. This one sold now on April 19th. For $13,900, it was a buy it now. The VCP average price, again, $14,212. This is the same card as number 10. This one sold on April 2nd through an auction, and I did check the listings. It appears that the buyer here, the lucky buyer who got it for a pretty good deal compared to VCP average price, won it on April 2nd, got the card, and listed it for buy it now and sold it for $13,900. So you have a nice little profit there of at least uh, $3,700, not including fees, all that stuff in the matter of one month flip. So kudos to that auction winner and seller of this 62 Tops Mickey Mantle there, making a decent uh, profit there on this card. All right, coming in at number two. We have another Mickey Mantle, the 67 Tops Mickey Mantle in a PSA 9. Older slab, and I'll, I'll bring this up here in a point, sold on April 8th, $14,301.98, 41 bids, right around the VCP average price. 
Uh, the front, I don't see any anything wrong with that front. Um, I think that's deserving probably of a PSA 9. Uh, the back, a little bit faded though. Uh, little centering issues, but again, I, I probably would have had more issues if this was a PSA 10 considering the back. But overall, I think it probably would still meet PSA standards for a PSA 9. Uh, in a PSA 9, there are only 79 copies. In a PSA 10, there are only two. All right, on to the number one sale from the 1960s. We had the 65 Tops Mickey Mantle. So a few different Mickey Mantles here from the 60s making the list. This one is in a PSA 9, sold on April 8th for $24,000. There's an auction, 51 bids. The VCP average price, $31,500. Now, I bring this up again, an older slab, and maybe more for this card than this 67 tops Mickey Mantle. The fact that, in it, well, one in a PSA 9, there are only 57 copies, and there are no PSA 10s. But if you look at the top right part of this card here, I, it could be on the slab, but it looks like it is on the card. A little bit of a of a mark there. Um, again, maybe back then that wasn't large enough for it to be considered a qualifier. Um, I doubt this one would have been a uh, PSA 10. Um, you can't have a PSA 10 with a qualifier. So this one would be is is a nine. Uh, the back. Does have some centering issues, in my opinion. Um, I don't think if this were sent in today, PSA would give this a nine. Um, I think they would spot that little mark there, and would not surprise me if they would put a qualifier on that card, maybe a nine um, with a mark or stain. I'm not sure what what the which one they would they would choose there, but. Interesting grade for this Mickey Mantle. Other than that, uh, on the front, it looks like a great copy of the Mickey Mantle. Back, I have some issues with, but overall, uh, nice looking 65 tops Mickey Mantle card. All right, on to the cards from the 1970s. All right, here's where we're going to get to some 75s and 76s. Starting off with the 1976 tops Pie Trainer All Time All Star in a PSA 10. Sold on April 6th for $3,565. There was an auction, 18 bids, and the VCP average price is $3,565 because the last PSA 10 sold all the way back in 2018 for $1,699.99. There are only four PSA 10s. There are 57 PSA 9s. Coming at number nine, is the 75 Tops Ron Bryant in a PSA 10. Now this, you see in the, the image here, BB cards for U2. Uh, they, that seller had several cards that showed up on this top 10 list. Not sure if it was a PSA set break, uh, what was going on. These obviously are not uh, newer graded cards. But this one sold on April 27th for $3,683. Here's an auction, eight bids, and that is the current average sale price because the last PSA 10 sold in on uh, back in 2016 for $161.81. There are 84 PSA 9s, but in a PSA 10, there are only three copies. On to number eight, we have the 1976 Tops Gorman Thomas in a PSA 10. Sold on April 13th for $4,494. It was an auction, 27 bids. Uh, the VCP average price here is listed as $935. Uh, sometimes with some of the um, listings, I'm not sure why this did not make the VCP database. Uh, normally, if there's some discrepancy, it's usually to uh, because of a buy it now uh, listing on eBay. And some of the data may not be transferred over in time. But this was an auction, so I'm not sure why... Uh, the VCP database did not have this particular sale in there, which obviously would have uh, bumped up the 
average price, uh, maybe even to this current sale price because the last 10, PSA 10 sold for just $935 back in September of 2022. So still, we're talking pandemic uh, sales here um, six months or so ago. One sold for $935, but this one in an auction sold for $4,494. So I, I'm not too sure about this listing, but according to eBay, uh, this one did sell. So in a PSA 9, there are 62 copies, but in a PSA 10, there are only three. All right, on to number seven. We have the 1975 Topps Dave Hamilton in a PSA 10. Another BB Cards for You 2 listing sold on April 27th for $6,255. It was an auction, 11 bids, last PSA or the last PSA 10 sold for $461.44 back in 2015. There are 119 PSA 9s, but only two PSA 10s. And it was the other PSA 10 that sold back in 2015. So I checked the serial numbers, the PSA numbers, and this one is a different one that sold back in 2015. All right, on to number six. We have the 1976 Tops Al Hrabowski in a PSA 10. Sold on April 13th for $6,500. It was an auction, 12 bids. Now, again, here's another one where the VCP average price does not incorporate this particular sale. So it's showing the VCP average price of $504 because the last one. That's what it sold for back in October of 2022. So you have two of these cards from, I believe they're both from 76. I'm not sure what's, what's going on here. eBay says that they sold. VCP does not have them listed in the database. And there's some pretty large discrepancies between the previous sale, which didn't happen that long ago, and these sales here. In a PSA 9... There's a pop of 32. There are five PSA 10s. So not as rare as Gorman Thomas um, in terms of set registry and things like that. But it's interesting that these two cards did not show up in the VCP database. Again, they're not perfect, uh, but VCP does a pretty good job in pulling data from eBay. So again, a second card here on the top 10 list. Uh, that I may have to question in terms of the authenticity of the sale, but according to eBay's um, database, um, it was a uh, legitimate sale. All right, on to card number five. We have the 1975 Tops Vic Harris in a PSA 10. Here's an interesting card because this one sold on April 27th for $6,888. It was an auction, 15 bids. That is the current average price. The last 10, PSA 10, sold for $215.24, a little less than three years ago. The same exact card based on the serial number. So whoever got that card back in 2020 paid $215 for it, and less than three years later, Sold it in an auction on eBay for $6,888. In a PSA 9, there are 52 copies, but in a PSA 10, there were only three. All right, on to card number four. Another 75 tops. This is the Mini Saint Gian in a PSA 10. Sold on April 27th for $6,924. There's an auction, 16 bids. The last PSA 10 sold for $500 back in 2020, three years ago. And the one before that sold all the way back in 2015 for $169.85. In a PSA 9, there are 72 copies, but only four in a PSA 10. So here's another one. Now, this one was in VCP's database. And again, uh, just just over a three-year time period, went from $500 to $6,900. All 
that PSA registry is, <laughs> I guess it's very addicting trying to get the uh, highest uh, rated set or something on the PSA registry list. That's the only thing I can, I can see. But on to number three. We have the 1977 Tops George Brett in a PSA 10. Um, just from my personal example, trying to collect some 77 Tops Hall of Famers, trying to get those 77s really well centered is a struggle sometimes. But this is a great looking George Brett. This one sold on April 23rd for $7,777. It was the best offer, way above the VCP average price of $4,950. Now, the last one sold for that price there, the last PSA 10, back in February of this year. So you're talking a two-month difference going from $4,950 to $7,777. Now, the previous card before that one was... May of 2022, so a year ago, through Heritage Auction, not through eBay, one sold for $9,300. In a PSA 10, there are 43 copies. So this this card seems to be taking a bit of a roller coaster. You have a $9,300 sale back in May of 2022, then all the way down to $4,950 in February of this year, then all the way back up to $7,777 in April. Crazy ride for that 77 George Brett. All right, on to card number two. We have the 1975 Topps Harmon Killebrew in a PSA 10. Sold on April 18th for $9,088. This was an auction, 47 bids, the VCP average price, $7,987. PSA 9 population is 111 cards. In a PSA 10, there are only four. Now, I'm, I'm trying to remember the listing here, the data in VCP. I believe this card did make the uh, database. So since the VCP average is $7,987, there must have been another one of the PSA 10s that showed up recently um, that sold for much less than $9,000 to get the roughly $8,000 average. All right, on to card number one from the 1970s. It's a Buzz Capra from 1976 tops in a PSA 10. And as you can see, this is a newly graded card. Sold on April 24th for $12,276.76. It was an auction. There were four bids. That is the current going rate for a PSA 10 Buzz Capra because that is the only PSA 10 76 tops Buzz Capra that was Looks to be recently graded because there are no previous sales. There are 46 in a PSA 9, but you're looking at the one and only PSA 10. As always, would love to know your thoughts on the cards that made the top 10 PSA Vintage Baseball card sales on eBay for the month of April 2023. With that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.